depressing. Just in normal gazes. Uh, high tide is at 7 30. Bigfoot is not real. Why would you spend your life looking for something that's not real? Is your life that, that hollow? Studios in Redondo Beach. Welcome to Dead Air LA. Uh, my name is, you know who I am. I don't have to tell you, but I will for new listeners. My name is, my name is Slim Shamey. You stand up. You stand up. You stand up. Will a real Sam Sunday. You stand up. You stand up. I love that song. My name is Brian Holtzman, and I've got an eclectic group of comedians here today that I'm, uh, I guess I'm overusing that word. I, every episode I'm using that word, eclectic. But until I find a better word, I think it fits just fine. And uh, blue eyes. You've won the lotto. You've got those, those are blue <laughs> eyes. You've been blessed with blue effing eyes. Everybody wants nice teeth and blue eyes, and you've got it in a lot of it. Uh, I'm with <laughs> Carla Watkins, and uh, uh, a gentleman I haven't met before, but I've heard so much about uh, in Hollywood and circles. And I've seen you at the club. I've seen you uh, at uh, after hours clubs. I've seen you at concerts. I've been. Uh, I've heard about you, but I never actually got to meet you in person. And I'm you glad. see me, you see me at concerts, <laughs> you see me at functions, you see me at the clubs, but you don't know me, dude. Come well, I, 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 I haven't. You I, know I, me, dude. You just haven't had the guts to come up and talk to me and tell me who you are, man. I've yeah. seen you around, man. You see, I'm the fucking Long Island guy. It's like I am what I am, and you are what you are, and that's Ronnie, all. Ronnie the Bell, uh, Bedell. Ronnie, welcome. I'm glad that you're here. I, 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 I want to get, uh, and we have uh, James Tripp. James Tripp has uh, been on Dead Air before in Burbank, and uh, I'm glad you could come back. And uh, it's good to be here. And uh, uh, hopefully uh, everything will go fine with you. So uh, are, are you anticipating trouble? It, se <laughs> it seems like you're setting me up for something. Oh, here. No one is setting anyone up here. This is really? an item of interest based, talkative, relaxed. It's a safe zone. Anybody can leave when they want. Oh. Nobody's for. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. You're already you're you're, you're already no, setting. No, no up one is setting up anyone. Situation. This is not a tricky dicky type. Yeah. Uh, by the way, guess who fought it in the car ride over here? This fucking guy, right? Fuck yeah, up. yeah. And then you don't even admit it, dude. The roadie is accusing someone else of farting. You 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 you, you all came in the same car. How many how many roadies yeah. have you known that don't? Constantly fart. If they're not just farting, it, they're just burping. Just drop it, dude. Just drop it. Relax. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, know, you could have. You could have just said I did it. You know. You, yeah, yeah, and yeah. you didn't do it. It's like it's kind of a combative first thought. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> you know. Are you gonna, is that how you're gonna act? You no, know? I'm not acting. <laughs> you know. I don't know what you're gonna you know, do. Maybe what you're your doing. clothes. Just maybe your clothes smell like farts or something. No, this guy tell, says I fart. I I didn't fart. The, the roadie uh, farted. Right. Let's 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 it let's move have, the. It uh, have been me. Let's let's. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you've got blue eyes. You've got blue her, eyes. I met her in Starbucks. She didn't you, fart. Carla, you are free to, what do they call it, fagulate? <laughs> Anytime you want, as many times as you want while you're here. I would love to smell what comes out of your body right now. It's more of the sound. You don't really smell them. They're it would be, very loud. It would be my pleasure. No, I'm sure it would smell like roses. I'm really sure of that. Do you mind if I swear you in? Oh, no. Uh, would you would you like the uh, Bible, the Quran, or the Yellow Pages? I'm gonna go with the Quran. Oh, that's dynamite! Dynamite! We don't wow. have too many Quran takers. Okay. Uh, Is it the same? Oh yes. Okay. Do you swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth to help you, God, while you're on dead air? That's all I do. Wonderful. Thank you. Uh, Ronnie, would you like to be uh, sworn in with the Quran, the Bible, or the Yellow Pages? Is it a King James Bible? It, it could be. I think they have similar characters and all the, you know. Uh, I'll take Yellow Pages. <laughs> it's the New Testament. Is that all right? Yellow Pages, it is. Ronnie, do you swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth to help you, God, while yeah. you're on dead air? Dead air? Yeah. Okay. Trip. Are you calling me a liar? <laughs> Talking to microphone, dude. Have I, have I ever lied to you? W would I lie to you? I, I like your shirt. 
<laughs> He's starting off. Hey. Look how far he is from the microphone. Hey. I brought I brought my own book, Brian. Oh, there he goes. There I brought the high arrow. I mean, that's good Ronnie. if you're doing a one man show. Ronnie, tell him it's not morning radio. Tell him it's Ronnie. not morning radio, dude. <laughs> I swear on this. Just like he says, it's not a fart. <laughs> Just relax. I swear on this. Just relax. <laughs> you will plug your book later, okay? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure. You know. So far, he's proving to be a difficult, <laughs> a difficult. Uh, you, well, member. Well, <laughs> you want me? You want me to swear in? Do you prefer the the, the this yellow? This guy has the audacity to call shotgun. I'm his, swearing in this. That, it's not gonna make, work. Okay? I'm not, well, I'm not. Do you want to swear? Put the book away. Oh, you want me to hold on to the book? I can't believe Ronnie. Give me, give me. Can you talk give, to him? Give me, give me the phone book. Give me the phone book. All right. I'll swear on that. And leave God out of it. Do you swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth to help your God while you're on What did I tell you? <laughs> oh, this guy. He's, no, no, no. I believe <laughs> No, no. No, Carl and I, we were, tell, tell me. he had to go to the bathroom on the way here, so he went to Ralph's, and we were literally, literally hey, thought, thinking about just no, like leaving him, don't, you know? Don't, don't make me ask you to leave. Okay? <laughs> do you want to swear in or not? Well, I don't want to do the God thing. The God thing is stupid. Well, it's may, it may be stupid to you, but it's well, what is done here. Tell me about this. Oh, it's what, okay, fine. Do you swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth while you're on dead air? I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, no, I just, I, you know, I, I, I don't swear to God. Let Carla talk. I swear <laughs> to Allah. You can swear to the yellow pages. It's the same characters. It doesn't need a... There's nothing wrong with the Quran. It's uh, it's the same God. It's a religious-based book. Uh, That's true. Conducting it's the uh, Jewish God, uh, mm-hmm. the God of Abraham. Yep. Let's go over the weather before we go any further. The weather is is something that everybody's interested in. Uh, <laughs> it affects a lot of people's lives in different ways throughout the country and the world. And with climate change, it's just it's just about the first topic on anybody's mind today. So. Uh, the temperature today is 64 degrees in beautiful Redondo Beach, 17.8 degrees Celsius. Biomic, uh, biometric pressure has been, uh, I don't have a biometric pressure. The dew point is 55 degrees and 12.8 degrees Celsius. The winds are three miles per hour. And again, I don't have a wind direction. I want to apologize. I don't have a biometric pressure at this time. The moon is a wa- waning crescent. High tide is at 5.58 p.m. <coughs> Do you like the water? The moon. I like them both. <laughs> and uh, the high tide, the sunset is going to be at uh, 6, uh, 5, 5.59 p.m. The humidity is 77%. The ultraviolet rays is 0 to 1. This is this is I've I've had a problem with with the weather girl with these um, the air quality is 70 70 to moderate and uh, visibility is 10 miles. Uh the chance of rain is 0 it looks like and then it's got hottest and coldest. 6 next to hottest it's 64 degrees and the coldest <laughs> I guess it's the lowest it's going to get is 57 degrees. I may have to make another call and straighten out some of these. But that's the weather. And uh, Charlie's in the booth. If, uh, Charlie is the um, uh, the owner or the co-owner. I think he's the pri- uh, pri- principal uh, owner of the uh, Flying Carpet Studios. And uh, <laughs> how serious is this event, do you think, uh Affecting communications and satellite and uh, even the International Space Station, for that matter, and future launches of satellites, uh, ground-based uh, uh, solar uh, uh, transmission lines. Uh, what can you tell us on the – because this is, this is quite a, a, a severe uh, uh, event. <clears throat> This is what 
How often does this event take place, Charlie? The last one from 2003. Do you think do you think it's a, a precursor to future events? <laughs> Charlie, uh, do you think um, the climate change is affecting the solar? Uh, I, don't, I I failed to find that funny, uh, Charlie. This is serious. We're talking about life or death on Earth. But yeah, I mean, you know, it's what like. What do you think about this, It's Ronnie? a real buzzkill. You know, it's a real buzzkill. I mean, you know, personally, for myself, you know, I've done a lot of writing all my life. I mean, it was I mean, different, you know, since I was probably 17 years old, I lied about going out on a road and doing you know, stones and it's just different bands like ACDC and, you know, like... Some of the biggest bands in the business. The biggest bands. I mean, you two, uh, you know... Um, so you don't need a backstage pass. You're already there. You've got that... You've got all the credentials. You yeah. ever been backstage, uh, Trip? Uh, sure. To, to what what kind of show, though? I mean, I've been backstage stage to... Well, just a yes or no would have been fine. Thanks. <laughs> Carla, uh, have you been backstage for events? Perhaps? For, the, for the wrong reasons. Hmm. You want to go into that? <laughs> not, not, exactly, not exactly. You got any photos? Come on, Ronnie. Keep my, it, my visa, keep it my above visa. the... Go ahead. I met Carl in a Starbucks years ago, and uh, we stayed in touch, you know, and uh, we've met up like once, maybe twice. Yep. Thank you for that, Charlie. <laughs> So tell us a little about yourself, Carla. Tell us, uh, tell us about you. Tell us about you. Uh, so uh, spotlight. Um, who are you? I, 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 I'm a walking contradiction, honestly. I uh, I do do some stand up. I I am a professional video gamer, and I own a chameleon. I don't know. Mm. What are we supposed? Chameleon. To say? Say, say what that is. A greenfield chameleon. They're a they're or is a, it a reptile. reptile? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Roams free in the house. Shits where he pleases. He's the king of the house. <laughs> little pebbles, like <clears throat> little little pebbles. Little pellets. Yep. Not too bad, like a possum. They actually pee and poo out of the same hole, which is, I think, easier. <laughs> Maybe. Well, <clears throat> you don't. You know, he's <laughs> got really that. Took this in it's direction. just whether you get that option to do that or not. You know, it's like I do that too, yeah. but you know, I, I got to just do it in the regular way. You know. Yeah. <laughs> so uh tell us about the video game access of uh, well, that sounds interesting are you I, a champion well i i honestly thought uh, being a girl i was gonna have to show cleavage and i i i don't i wear sweaters and very no conservatively makeup, dressed very conservatively dressed and Pick people the Quran. actually exactly they uh they actually want to watch Someone play for no apparent reason. They subscribe, and so I get money that way. Wow. Yeah. And what particular game are you playing? Uh, I'll play Call of Duty. I play first-person shooters. Or I'll play the old-school Zelda, uh, Donkey Kong. They still have those on Switch, which is also really fun. But. Uh, wow. How interesting. How many hours uh, uh, do you have to be, uh, you know, how, what, that's, that's the, how time-consuming is The hard it? part, because you do have to stick to a schedule because your subscribers will tune in when you post it on your on your From schedule. From all over the world. From all over the world. So um, I want to say 12 to 15 hours a week right now, but it should be more to get more money, honestly. <laughs> and those are real blue eyes. Because, yep. you know, a lot of women Actually, will put... Uh, the contact lenses in and it'll give make them have blue eyes they're real they're green and only nine per- yours are green too though or blue hazel hazel on they my look, license it says hazel they look <clears throat> on the green side too only nine percent of the population have green eyes but 48 percent of statistics are made up so thank you yeah you made that statistic up hmm. my eyes are shit bra- shit brown <laughs> <laughs> they're shit brown they shit brown. Also? They shit brown and they look shit brown. Oh, tell me, it's a fucking tell- joke, man. Nobody wants to laugh at anything. You just <laughs> like, like, yeah, you fucking smell. You smelling for me? It smells like a fart. Uh, tell me, like uh, fart. tell me what? about yourself, uh, 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 Ronnie. I take, uh, I take. Uh, you know your career. You know, uh, <laughs> tell us about. You know, I've heard about you. And I've just never taken the time to. I guess. I've seen you, but I, I guess I was l- reluctant to approach you. Well, I get that a lot. 
I get that a lot, a lot of reluctance around me. You know, she's had a long career, and I wish I could start it very early, and it shouldn't have started as early as it did. And it took, it took a long time to get to a lot of different places, and, and now I'm learning from those things, you know, and I'm trying to do more, com- I'm doing more comedy, which, which Carla I did a couple, a couple shows <laughs> with her. And I've just been doing a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of search, soul searching. You know, it's been a tough time for everybody. I think. So. I mean, it's been a tough time. Are you out of work? Too, so. uh, are you done with the the the, the ro- Excuse ro- me. Ro- what did you say? Are you done with the, ro- the roadie business? Oh, it's not really like the roadie business. It's just like being a roadie in the business. You know, it's like uh, you know. You know, like, dude, a guy that looked like an anteater, and uh, his name was Gus, and uh, I miss a guy a lot. I miss a lot of the guys that I used to do the roading with, you know. It's like uh, Def Leppard, I did, uh, you know, uh, Queens of Stone Age. Uh, yeah, did, done uh, anything with Foghat? What did you Foghat? Did Foghat recently? Charlie was, uh, Charlie was, uh, uh, uh... Do I remember Charlie? I do remember Charlie, because he, he used to call him Grilled Cheese Charlie. <laughs> Charlie was on the road, I think. Uh, he was uh, some kind of uh, management... Uh, personnel of the Fog Hat group. I remember him. <coughs> remember his face. You mm. <laughs> uh, weren't in a position to fire me. You know. What a small world. My father was. Uh, was what a small world. If 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 uh, if, hey. if if nobody's lying. <laughs> did did he have a flatulence <laughs> problem back then? Oh, did he fart a lot See, back I then? On me. Here we go again. This guy. No no no. Because this guy accused me of farting. I didn't fart. The roadie farted. Uh, uh, Tell me, did he have a flatulence problem? Okay. He doesn't want to say. He doesn't want to say. I already took responsibility for that. I'm sorry. It might have been Carla. It could have been just a, the, the. But I know it was you, dude, because she was, <laughs> she went inside and you were out there and just me. So and it just there was a squeaky sound and then and then I smelled it and it was you. I know it was you. I could tell by your eyes. Just like I could see, it like right through your soul. Why were you looking into my eyes? Because I was like holding on for all day. Why, why were you holding on? Well, I don't, I don't it was so part. bad. I was holding on to my life, man. It was like the end of my life, smelling that shit. Okay. So uh, that's that's all we're gonna talk about the fight. I don't want to talk about the fight anymore. Uh, 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 do you want to tell us uh, what's happening with you, Trip? Since the last time you were on uh, Dead Air, I think it was in. Uh, well, I have been in isolation. I have been living in fear of this pandemic. Now, I not much. I mean, I'm not. Uh, I'm not doing a lot of stage time. I'm. Uh, I'm <laughs> writing. I'm writing. I'm writing a, another book. I'm uh, editing uh, something that uh, uh, I wrote years ago, and I was almost done editing it, and then it got interrupted, and I never got back to it. And that's what I'm working on now. Does it have a, uh, a temporary or? familiar name yeah i mean the name it's it's called frog soup and it's uh basically it's a children's book is it no it's it's a collection of uh, monologues it's it's topical monologues your monologues essays yeah and essays i did a lot of uh topical humor where i'd i'd only do it one time and i never did it again and so uh i i put it into a book form to preserve the monologues but they're all dated because they're topical so um you know, it, and it's, it's, you used to be a journalist. Why don't I was, you t- uh, yeah. tell us a little about that early journalist career. That I you was were... uh, a reporter on uh, Martha's Vineyard, uh, an island in Massachusetts. I was origi- I was uh, initially I was a print reporter, and then I was hired uh, as a news director of a radio station, and uh, I did that for a while. And then I was hired. I was I was hired by a TV station that was it was a news station, and they were. Uh, Gonna ha- I was going to be on a nightly broadcast, and I was going to have my own Sunday talk show. But then the cable industry was deregulated, and all the cable companies dropped my station, and I got canceled before I went into production. Hmm. And that's when I became a comedian. That's when I... Uh, what, a, uh, what a run of just horrible, morose luck. Well, no, actually, I mean, I was... It's wonder, <laughs> it's wonder a piano didn't drop on his head. No, it was going good. I mean, I, I, I was in a small market. I was a big, you know, so I became a big to, star. How and, did you feel uh, after that? When that when that when that news broke that you well they gave me they gave me money to settle it because I mean I I had an office I had business cards you know uh, they just I just never went into production and they they gave me money as a retainer because uh, you know it was a new it was a new operation and uh, uh, when this 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 must carry rule was dropped uh, they weren't sure what was going to happen so it it kind of dragged me out for a couple of months before they said we can't use you. Sort of like uh, 
So there I was stuck on an island. I was living on an island. Yeah, I was living on an island, so I had to leave the island. So I moved back to Boston, and that's when I started doing stand-up at a club called Stitches. Can you hold that hold that thought just for a second? So, how much time do you have to do it? Uh, you know, game. Get, uh, uh, how how hours. much? Just a few hours a day. A or, day. Or, yeah, or like, for like three, how three, many? three, four times a week. A minimum three hours. Sometimes I'll go to six, and those get more views for whatever reason. I would be bored watching someone play for six hours, but people watch it. Would I be? Uh, too forward to ask you how many subscribers are interested in watching you play we need more but okay so so the first we'll get back to you the first no i I understand i understand that was was a real long answer to something that didn't need to be that long that's all well hey if you're going to ask questions i'm going to answer them well you just said where did you get your start you didn't say like give me your wikipedia i'm canceled too before anything started i'm still canceled yeah i just can't really get a start um yeah, so uh, I want to say 30, 30, about 30 subscribers. They pay uh, $4.99 uh, for that month. And then they, <laughs> this is the part where I was thrown off, they randomly tip you for nothing. Right. They just throw you, and you'll see, ding, here's 50. And I'm like, why? I'm really? Not, I'm yeah. not doing anything. You great, deserve fun it. Here. It's not based on like a good oh move. Or you, you just like some. Sometimes it will be. Sometimes it'll be off Is like it, a kill or, or something fun. Hmm. But does it ever have times. to do with the uh, <clears throat> the type of clothing you're wearing? That's yeah, what I'm saying. That? No. So I I've been lucky enough to. <laughs> it's not only fans, and I'm happy about that. My my brother actually works for Dell Dell Alienware, and they have a hard time uh, sponsoring female gamers because a lot of them will be promiscuous or, or, you know, <clears throat> online, do OnlyFans, and they can't really represent someone like that. So for me, I, I go in looking like a dude, because I'll normally play before I, I go to sleep at night, so I have no makeup, my hair's in a bun, I'm kind of just, You yeah. know, getting ready to game. Yeah, yeah. How do you get corporate sponsors yeah. for something like that? Um, so when you become a partner, there's affiliate and partner, and then... Uh, they you you reach out they you, there's there's ways but you have to become partner first and you'll start do, getting do, paid for ads and do, whatnot. Do you need you like the old school games like like Pac Man or Miss Pac Man or like Frogger or something? <laughs> Miss Pac Man. Do you need people I, play like no, Frogger for six hours or like? Honestly, no. Well, I guess you could. There's ways to to play, but like normally those are on. Oh, uh, what do you think about today's? Uh, the state of journalists, journalism today. Well, it's not very good. You know, uh, a lot of so- the, a lot of these uh, news outlets use one source. You know, you, you need at least two sources for any story. You would think. <laughs> but nowadays, you, you know, would think. <laughs> yeah, not, not, nowadays, if somebody says something, it's news. They'll, they'll just report anything. And they all use the same images. I mean, the no, same use- the same images about the same story on every single outlet. Most. Most, uh, which is kind of disturbing because that's suspicious right off the bat. Is there anybody else there with a camera? Was there anybody else filming images? Because it's cheaper for them to use the same image. Then they don't have to pay for another image. They can just, just, you know, it's all about counting beans. Yeah, and, and a lot of headlines are very misleading. They, they'll just say one thing to get you to click through to the story, you know. They'll, like, say something you know, scandalous in the headline and you click through and there's clickbait. There's nothing wrong. You know, there's nothing. Yeah. I, I, I learned that the hard way. Whenever there's somebody on television that they're interviewing, whether it be a Supreme court judge on a night show or anybody that you find may, and you realize they, they can't keep fooling you. There's nothing that they're going to say that's going to, mean anything yeah and they just stir stuff up they stir stuff up <laughs> I mean, what do you think about that ronnie well i mean it's like when you go to see his candy and you forget to get the you forget to get the flavors that you want to get you know like and then symptoms are going in i just forget to get to bordeaux and so i don't get to bordeaux and then when i leave i'm like ah she got to bordeaux so i go back and, uh, and i'm not going to do the parking twice or i forget to get it validated or i like to get a phone call from my grandmother or something so it's always like a, a, a something that repeats itself over and over and over and over again until you realize, you know, maybe I am, you know, maybe I am a woman, you know? <laughs> you know? Uh, uh, how old do, are you? How, do, do, you, do you piss and shit out of the same hole? 
Are you asking me out? <laughs> no, no. I'm just. I, I just. I'd like to bring this podcast to a to a to a more uh, manageable level of intelligence. Can we get off the the fadulence and the and the and the, and the, and the, and the and, uh, can we get this podcast out of the gutter? Would that be all right with you? You know, after you're talking about journalism, then you're going to say that. I mean, well, was, well, he, but he, he was, he was he, saying he, that he was a woman or something, and I listen, was. Yeah. I said there are, there are things that would lead me to believe that I might be something else other than what I was thinking I was. And so I was. That was that's what you call a callback in comedy. I was referring to something she had said. And by the way, it, it was so sour. I mean, think about it. It was like it was just the most sour smell I've ever smelled in my entire life. <laughs> uh, how old do you think Amy Poehler is? Oh, don't look at me. Make someone else answer this first. No, they'll be after you. <laughs> um, I'm going to give her a little grace. <laughs> She's not here. Don't worry. <laughs> For, 46. How about you, uh, Ronnie? How old do you think a Amy Poehler is? She's about 40, 48. Uh Mr. Tripp, how old do you think uh, Amy Poehler is? I'm going to say the youngest age. Uh, that way I, uh, she won't be mad at me. I'll say she's 43. Wrong. She's 50. 52. Oh, shit. How old, how old is Billy Ray, Cyrus, uh, Billy Ray Cyrus is? How old do you think that gentleman is? He's a country star calibrated with uh, some kind of group called uh, L-I-L-N-A-S-X, whatever that is. On recent multi-platinum hit, Old Town Road. I think his daughter is the one that can't keep her clothes on. <laughs> Miley. I'm going to say 50, 57. <clears throat> Ronnie. I'm going to say 58 again. He is 60. Mm, trip is right. Bonnie Hunt. How old is Bonnie Hunt? She's a leading her voice to the new Disney Plus animated TV series, Monsters at Work. That's all we need in America is another Disney <laughs> animated movie. So we can just dumb this nation down to a bunch of knuckle dragon mush brains. Disney is another reason. Are you calling me a, a mush brain? Or a... No, I was calling Disney a mush brain. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm a big uh, fan. Of Disney? Oh. The animation, yeah. You like the Lion King? Why don't you like? That's it? my number one. Are you kidding me? When is how, it? how can you not? What? Who hurt you as a child? He doesn't like animation. Like what's wrong? With you? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like animation. It's like I got a thing about cartoons. Okay, <laughs> I watched cartoons growing up, Popeye and Olive Oil and the Road Runner mm -hmm. and all that stuff, and I had no problem with it because I was an adolescent. <clears throat> but as an adult. With adult needs and sexual desires, I find it very hard to watch cartoons. I just, at the end of the day, if you come home from work, do you really want your husband to be sitting on the couch watching cartoons? <laughs> I mean, come on! You got you got to follow the storyline. It's not about difference. the actual the cartoon. Re the writing is great. The, yeah, I'm yeah, not getting you. The writing is line. great, but at the end, they had that guy, uh, uh, the, the the horse who had a drinking problem. That cartoon? He's dread. He no, a, the horse. The, 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 the horse. Uh, uh, oh, uh, <laughs> Horseshack. Uh, ho Bojack Horseman. Bojack oh, oh. Horseman. I mean, it's funny. It's funny. It's so mm -hmm. funny. It's so funny. But at the end of the day, you're watching cartoons. You're <laughs> so you a grown like man watching cartoons. I mean, that's got to have an effect on you. How could you watch cartoons? I just how could I not watch watch cartoons, you know? So you're a big cartoon watcher. Yeah, I mean, I like them a lot. And I think that <laughs> a lot of people don't realize the thing that you don't realize is that it's suspended in motion and there aren't commercials. You know, if you get the DVD, there are but, commercials in cart. Are there commercials in no, cart? You got to get the channel. You don't know, the you Family the Guys, Disney Plus, or oh, the, fucking... the streaming services. Sure. Oh, I'm missing. I I know what I'm. Oh, oh, the streaming services. Oh, Let me get my wallet. I'm gonna <laughs> pay for the streaming no, no, no. services and cartoons as a grown man. <laughs> 
I don't know why With you get sexual all upset. desires, maybe a why wife, keep... maybe a family, maybe yeah. an important job, and then I'm going to sit on the couch yeah. and watch cartoons. You keep bringing up I love how passionate. I can't wait to watch cartoons. Just everything the you... Family Guy, The Simpsons, all the cartoons. It doesn't make sense for an adult to watch cartoons. I know they're funny, but at the end of the day, you're watching cartoons. Cartoons are for little people. <laughs> Not necessarily. They are for adolescents. Adults should not be watching cartoons. Adults shouldn't be watching Talking Lions and and Lion King. Oh, come on. What, 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 what about your imagination? What happened to your sense of wonder, man? What, what about, happened to adulthood? What about Fritz the Cat? What about Fritz the Cat? We're not talking about Fritz the Cat. <laughs> But you are allowed to cross the line with these cartoons. She, you cannot say things that you can say on air normally that you can if you're hidden behind animation, which is South Park and family. Like, you're allowed to take You can it, do more, too. You can you uh, take, take the, the little boy that couldn't walk, and you can make him walk. He's so angry about this. You can take, you can take a thousand slaughtered sheep. Yeah, but there's so many. Make them alive. There's so many things that you could be doing with your time, and that half an hour watching The Simpsons or The Family Guy, as funny as it is, do you really want to, as an adult? Yeah, but there's there's human people that, behind the voices doing li- their performances, their comedic performances. We know all about that. We're not saying it. They aren't talented individuals with great voiceover skills and great writers, <laughs> but I just feel like. There are so many avenues of interest. I also but you play... can do things uh, in animation that you can't do in live action. Let them do you it. Can, you can, but it's uh, for kids. Like it's some for of the children. old, but some of the old Warner Brothers uh, cartoons where they were psychedelic. I don't know if you remember any of those where they'd be like a dolly painting for the background, or there'd be a, a something. Uh, you know, psychedelic before psychedelics. You know, they, they would experiment. They, they how old is Bonnie Hart? I was going to say, we're not convincing him. She's leading her voice to the new. Yeah, how old does you think <laughs> this uh, character witness is? I'm going to go younger, just uh, uh, 48. I don't know. Okay. Bonnie Hunt? 58. 64. I just went away. Uh, Bonnie is 60 years old. Michael Keaton, I it was, oh. a Batman actor, to star in and executive produce Hulu miniseries Dope Sick about the opiate crisis. How old is Michael Keaton? Color Watkins. He's 60s. Let's see. Uh, 62. Uh, Ronnie. 64. Ronnie. 64. And Trip. Michael Keaton is 70. Correct. Wow. Ding, 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 ding. You, you know, you know the name. You know some of these already. You, you, you yeah, know. you can see. You can see the paper. Cause you were sure. I can't that. see anything. No, he was sure <laughs> tell, of that. Tell the truth. Were you looking at the paper? I have cataracts. <laughs> yeah, but in one no, of it's those... okay to tell the truth. You've been sworn in. I know. I, I I was not looking at the. Uh, I be- we'll no, believe you, but we just want the truth. Were you looking at the paper? <laughs> I was not looking at the paper. That's all right. right. I'll take it. I'm not gonna. I can't see I the paper. I saw him looking at the paper. I can't see. You saw him here. looking at the. Did yeah. you see him looking at the he, paper? He yeah, leaned I saw over him like this. And so, t- hey, I did not. <laughs> I did not. He look was going paper. like product this. placement again. I'm here looking at your paper. Here this is product going placement. Like this. I'm looking at your paper now. I can't see anything. I can't see it. Let me see. Believe me, I, I got my glasses. Let me see if I here. can see it from here. <laughs> no, he was looking at your paper. Uh, Chrissy Hyde, uh, pretended singer, is now a profilic, a pro, proflic, proflictic, uh, you know, uh, help me out here. I'm Prolific. not going to help you. <laughs> huh? Prolific. Yes. There we go. Thank you. Uh, uh, artist who began to paint seriously in her 60s. What are you painting? This I got to see. How old do you think this uh, this dame is? I wish I knew who we were talking about. Uh, uh, the pretend, uh, she's a rock singer from a, a, a group called the Pretenders. Oh, the oh, okay. Um, uh, Chrissy Hyde. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 60s. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just sixty two is my favorite number today. We're just right. gonna roll with how that. How about how about you, uh, uh, Ronnie? Sixty one. He's just going base off. Trip. Up uh, I would say she's uh, sixty seven. You're all you're all incorrect. She is seventy years young today, and I guess painting as we speak some abstract uh, nonsense that will no doubt sell for quite a bit of money. Just because, you know, it doesn't matter. 
if you can paint or not. They're not painting, buying your artwork because of the of your ability to paint. They're buying your artwork because of who you are. Or maybe they're not even buying your artwork. Well, yeah. you think I'm she's giving it away? Artwork. I'm not buying any artwork. You know what I mean? You have something against art, but you like cartoons. Dude. He has a I red like skeleton part- painting. I, you, should, you should have to open your heart, man, because it's like part of you's not opening your heart. He's like, what's well, not wonderful about watching little mice run around like going snowboarding and, you know, there's all sorts of cartoons. There's a cartoon for everything, you know? And no, it's, it's just it's, me. I'm sure everybody loves watching cartoons or else they wouldn't be on primetime television. They wouldn't be everywhere on regular television. And, uh, and the Flintstones, I didn't know this until I was educated, the Flintstones was on primetime. Yeah, it was 8 o'clock cartoon. show. So this, this cartoon business isn't something new, but I just... Psychologically, uh, I have books. I have access to books. I have access to uh, items of interest. I have access uh, access to. Uh, um, what, just, what about? Do you read uh, comics in the so paper? So I just feel personally, to to to, to watch ty- uh, cartoons. It's like, do you want to read a comic book? Do you, do you read the comics? So <laughs> do you want to read a comic book or do you want to read a novel? Do you read the comics in the paper though? Don't do you, you want to watch a movie? Or do you want to watch cartoons? It's just a, it's just a choice, a personal choice to me. And I, you know, if I went over somebody's house and they were watching cartoons, you're just an intellectual <laughs> snob. No, I don't believe so. I mean, I, mean, I believe you're an intellectual <laughs> snob for calling me an intellectual snob. He's trying to act. He's trying <laughs> to think? act like one. He's not even a fucking intellectual. He's trying to pretend you're intellectual. Yeah, he's trying to be an intellectual <laughs> while no, he shits out of his ass in the car on the way over here. <laughs> Are we back on that? I thought we were hey, listen, cutting it. I, needed, I thought we were over that. I needed something to get on him. I have, oh, yeah. I have reliable information that he was uh, shitting back in hey, the fog. Can we bring days. it up? Can we bring it up, please? We don't want to bring it up. <laughs> and the last one. How old do you? think David Crosby is the uh, four musicians uh, Rolling Stone video advice column what is this X to Cros no topic is too personal uh, how old do you think this dinosaur is him or his liver <laughs> 74 uh, uh, Ronnie 81 what's your middle name Ronnie I don't have a middle name hmm Unique parents, huh? <laughs> Why should I have a middle name? No one ever even uses the middle name unless you're trying to be Very arrogant. lazy parents, huh? Probably not too church going as well, probably. My dad was a rowdy. You learned the business from your dad? Yeah. What was the worst part of that business? Was it breaking it down or, um, or, or putting oh, it up? Sometimes the hotels they put are so far away from. From the concert or from where they're doing the rehearsals. And how did you get back and forth from the venue to the hotel? Did, the did they did they provide car service? A lot of times, a lot of times, not not really car service, but you know, you know, it'd be like trucks and stuff, like sitting in trucks, just sitting in the back of trucks. And oh, you take the trucks that that the equipment is in to your hotel. Well, I mean, and you're then... talking about early in my career. You're talking about like later in my career, like to the end of my career. It was like when I took any the, part of my... your career that you want to talk about, Ronnie. Well, did. But, did you ever get out of a VW bus in your career? I'll fucking knock you out. <laughs> this fucking guy, man. Yeah. See, I'll fucking knock you out, bro. Yeah, you know, you know. Uh, <laughs> this fucking guy almost, almost shits his pants in the fucking car. He's getting a real kick out of himself. <laughs> yeah. He's getting sick. a real kick out of himself, isn't yeah, he, man? Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised you weren't in the Righteous Brothers. You, saw him, you, you know? can entertain yourself, can't you? You're know, a one-man <laughs> show over there. <laughs> Peeing his pants right now. But just, just, just between us three, and any and everybody listening to the podcast, mm-hmm. if you went over somebody's house and they were watching a lot of cartoons, would it kind of make you feel like, wow, this guy's, uh, you know? You well, know. I'd probably get hot for it. Honestly, <laughs> you're asking the wrong. I'm a grown up child. I play video games. How are you not making fun of me? I would ask. Well, that's, a big, that's a chameleon. big business today. It Video is true. Game. Yeah, it's, true, it's true. huge. I, I live in a. I rent a room in Austin with an Indian family, and the little hacker guy is on the video games constantly. <laughs> oh yeah, constantly. Uh, how old do you think uh, David Crosby is? Uh, seventy-seven. Did you already answer? Said eighty-one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
You don't have to. You don't. I felt you were coming at me a little bit with that answer. I mean, <laughs> All right. It's, uh, it's, it's like you don't remember me. It's you don't like listen. Yeah. You ask these questions and you don't listen to the answers. Well, I got a lot going on here. Well, no, I know what you got going on here. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, <laughs> Knock it, off, knock it off, Drew. <laughs> no, I just love the way your hair just falls off the top of your head. Just got it done yesterday. I hadn't done it for about a year. Wow. Just so natural. So beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what'd she say? She's, she's it's not so much what she said, it's how she said it. She's doing satire about how some women really act. You know, they walk around like they got uh, roses coming out of their butt. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you you're naturally smooth with with with, with the attractiveness that you have. You, it's not pretentious, is what we're saying. It's very uh, it's very low key. You know, not like my friend over here that's well, just been uh, uh, quite quite a difficult. Uh, listen, listen, you you, you want me to be difficult because you antagonize me. No, that's not true. You do. You antagonize me. You, you're just setting me. You're just waiting. Nobody is to setting up. On me. Nobody is setting anybody up on dead air. We have a conversation based on items of interest and a shared communication. Now, if you think you're being set up, that's on you. All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. We all come in on the defense. We all, we all must have been hit as kids. Now, uh... So everybody's wrong. David Crosby, the dinosaur that he is, is 80 years old. Wow. He's had a liver transplant. He's already planted his semen with that uh, singer. His kid's dead. Didn't, didn't that kid die? Didn't he uh, kill himself or didn't he have cancer I or something? I think I heard something about that. I, some, uh, the one that he impregnated. Yeah, the, I, think, uh, I think he died. I think he had cancer or something. Who was the singer that, 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 that wanted his child? Uh, um, his what's her name? Uh, Lisa Antridge? No, uh, yeah, Melissa. Melissa Melissa, Melissa. <laughs> Melissa. Melissa. <laughs> I think that was close. She's That's very close nice. enough. Yeah. She's very nice. Did She's you ever one. work for her? Yeah, you I ever? worked for her, yeah. yeah. I did a private gig for her at a house. Really? Yeah. That must, yeah. really that must cool. have been exciting. Oh, they had these, these, little, these little mini crab louis. It's like a little oh, mini shower with little gee. mini crab louis. First class. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, but you know those kind of gigs. You just can't like get too excited about those gigs because you don't last forever. Like a lot of those kind of gigs, you know, you don't ever see one like them again. You know, right. but uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, you know, it, it was a good time. She's like really cool. Who had the best catering? You're fucking you know, hey, come on, come on, fucking kill don't, you, man. Come on, come on. You're sarcastic. Why do you want to ask no. him a question like that? All the catering is good. No, He's no, in the no, business. He's in no, rock and roll. They don't have any bad food. Okay. I got a question. It's like asking him what kind of salt well, he in mentioned the... something that um that the I Melissa think you're from... coming at him a little bit I just asked him a question Jeez. See, you're attacking this, this me guy. you gotta get in the mic you gotta get in the mic you gotta, you gotta speak get, in the can mic can you get in the mic like, what, we're, we're, we're not being loud enough here so you don't want to get in the mic is that it no I, I, I'm, in the, I'm in the mic get in the mic well if, if you're in the mic why does everybody say get in the mic well I'm just I'm, I'm, again I'm... again you have to walk it back no one would say get in the mic if they didn't think that you, you were know, in you the mic. You might actually be a little too, <laughs> too close to Yeah, you're too in the yeah. mic. Because you're too loud. You, you yeah, got to pull right. out yeah, of the mic. Yeah, but it's my podcast. I can put my mouth wherever I want. Uh, uh, Ronnie. Ronnie with no middle name. Ronnie Bedell. What do you want me to say about it? How do you, get into, how do you start to be a, ro a roadie? What, when I was what makes a child, you get I wanted to be a fisherman. You know, kids, mm. kids want to be like, uh, they want to be a fireman. I want to be a fisherman. His father, you, you don't listen. I, I his father, was, you know? his father I was a roadie. I heard that. <laughs> And yet you're asking him the question. You don't listen. Are you challenging me? I don't me? need you to defend me either, by the way. Oh, you, you, I will fuck you. Up. Hey, excuse me. Can you, can you relax? My sisters listen to this podcast. We oh, don't I'm need sorry. to be dropping F-bombs every five seconds. I apologize. I expect that out of that idiot over there. Hey. <laughs> I'm not going to say I'm going to kick your ass because I probably couldn't kick your ass. But I... Uh, I'm sorry about this, Carla. I, I'm going to kick somebody's ass by the end of so today. So you like cartoons. Knows, You're knows. innocent as hell. You're very much a young, young person, and I respect do, how, that. <laughs> how old do I look? Let's go, table. You're about 17 and a half. Love that. <laughs> You're probably no. barely legal. You know? Come on. I, I love this. I met her in a Starbucks. Oh, here he goes. Jeez. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I, I, I can't imagine you did that. <laughs> Let me tell you something about the scheduling of your shows a little off, by the way. You say like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna be doing it on this date, 
And then I get a call and he said, we're not <laughs> doing it on this day. And then I get a question about, we can get this guest, we can't get another guest. And then I finally bring Carla in here, and I didn't get, like, any respect for it. It's like, I, I brought her to this show, you know? She's, like, cool, you know? She's, she's doing good so far. He just needed a ride. You want to start some items of interest? Wait, what? Do you want to start some items of interest? Sure, yeah. You guys, you ready for some let's items go. of interest? Yeah, let's do it. It yeah. sounds terrifying. It's it's a beautiful thing. It's okay. a very popular a popular segment. You can chime in at any time you want on any of the items of interest that's being uh, uh, communicated, and it's just it's just a wonderful opportunity. I like to start off with a positive story, if it's okay. <laughs> Get off on the right foot. That may bother you. No, you, I like positive things. You seem to be doubling down on toxic and negative emotion. No, you're, 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 you're attacking me. So you're attacking me. I'm only trying to make you the best you can be. And you don't want to be best. <laughs> He's not mad. He's just disappointed. That, that's that's my slogan. Be, my slogan is be best. That's my slogan. Be best. He doesn't have to have it. I mean, I mean... Lawrence Brooks, America's oldest living World War II veteran, rose from his wheelchair and danced, smiled, and waved as revelers celebrated his 112th birthday this month. Vehicles lined up outside his New Orleans home holding birthday signs, and neighbors danced on their porches as brash bands, br brass bands played in a drive-by party hosted by the National World War II Museum. Brooks was drafted in 1940 and served as a private in the Army's mostly black 91st Engineer, Engineer Battalion stationed in New Guinea, Papua New Guinea, and the Philippines. He worked as a forklift operator, and that is some interesting work if you can get it. Being a forklift operator? It after is, all, it, after all that, though. I mean, if we, you can get that job, just to be able to move everything around and be in charge of what what goes where, it, have you ever? I've I've I've, I've driven a forklift. I have drove you? a forklift when I was nine or ten. They're kind of tricky, right? I swear to God, yeah, they are very, very fun. Very tricky. Though. They're tricky, but it's kind of <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like a stick shift in a way. But yeah, they can turn. They can really turn. That's the fun part about yeah, that. You, you just can, hold it down just, in my hands. I bet your hair was circles. flying around when you were yeah, turning. Just, and, um, <laughs> he loves that. Stationed in New Guinea and the Philippines, he worked as a forklift operator <laughs> after the war until retiring in his 70s. Wow. And has five children, 13 grandchildren. Hi, honey, I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> I had a hard day in a forklift. And 22 great-grandchildren. So our hats are off to this World War II veteran, 112 years old from New Orleans. Isn't that, isn't that nice? And uh, I think I'll read another good, 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 good one because we've got some bad actors, perhaps. I'm not going to mention any names. Some uh, negative I just ways. don't know why anyone would want to would live to 112. At well, that point, kill yourself. The, the, no, honey. If you, for the animation. I don't you say honey. I mean. No, you're fine. No, honey. <laughs> wow. See, so you can never know what you're going to say. You're right, you're right. Even now, even you are joking in your own thing right now. It's like, can you say honey, you know? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? What, what I'm saying uh, is, uh, I guess... Guess what came to my mind before I called you honey was, why didn't you just use the bathroom before you left so that you wouldn't have to have a problem in the car? It was not my problem. It was this guy whose flatulence goes all the way back to Foghat. What? Where do you think uh, they got the name for that band? Okay. Oh, now he's in, now he's in the now, mic. He knew these guys now before there the was mic. a fog hat. I lit the fuse. Now I have to reel him in. Yeah. See, now I have to reel him in. Settle down. Okay. Look it up in Wikipedia. The source of the name fog hat. Ask where they got that name from. A woman. Raised, they got it from this guy right here. A woman raising butterflies in her home outside Chicago was stunned to learn that a tiny tag. Attached to one of the uh, uh, monarchs was recovered in central Mexico about 2,000 miles away. I was super, super excited, says Debbie Koloski, 62, of uh, Orland uh, Park, Illinois. Uh, I just kind of felt like I did something good. Monarchs have been in decline for years, spurring 
conservation efforts such as tagging them with tiny stickers. Can you believe that? Tagging them with tiny stickers? You want to ta- you want to you want to do this or do you want to watch the Family Guy. <laughs> I'll watch Family Guy. Yeah, let's watch. Fa- <laughs> uh, it's hilarious. Uh, tagging them with tiny stickers. They usually live two to six weeks, but a super generation of monarchs born in late summer and early fall migrate to Mexico or California and live for eight or nine months. Oh, wow. Isn't that With nice? a sticker on them. Isn't that nice? Mm. With the launch of a website providing home delivery of Chick-fil-A uh, chicken mm. sandwiches on Sundays when the Christian-owned fast food franchise is closed, the rewarmed sandwiches purchased on Saturday are priced at $6.66. Mm. Do you like chicken sandwiches? I, well, that's, uh, you're, now you're talking. I do like chicken. I don't know why. You know where the best chicken sandwiches? <laughs> no, I just got really excited. Wh- Have where? you been to Ray's in uh, Chinatown? No. Howland Ray's? No. Oh. Is it is it a crispy chicken sandwich? Place sucks. Or grilled? We like crispy. <laughs> we like it fried. It really sucks. Fatty, it's all right. It's nothing great. Wow. Hidden shit. Is that true? I'm a little uncomfortable. If you could just move your arm over to your. <laughs> I thought you were area. gonna hold his hand. I thought you guys were finally gonna get. <laughs> With new data showing that as the labor shortage deepens, some employers are wavering ma- marijuana drug tests for job candidates. Society has caught up to the reality of smoking marijuana on your own time, says attorney uh, attorney Brittany Robinson. With the news for the first time in state history, including both world wars and the 1918 Spanish flu pandemic, there are more deaths than births last year in COVID-ravaged, vaccine-hesitant Alabama. Alabama. Hmm. So is that good news or bad news? Uh, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, let's think about it, guys. Is that good news? Control or, at I its mean, spice. there are more people dying in Alabama in the state, in the United States of America, than people being born. But in we Alabama. don't even know why we're here, Dad. You don't know why we're here. Why we have hands? What, well, what well we, how could you move all that equipment without hands, Ronnie? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> why did they have me move equipment? Just in this world, this what it is. You know, it's like you get these different situations where you have to grow up and live, but you're just going to die anyway, so what's the point? Well, you, while you're here, you want to be able to grab a hot dog or a hamburger with your hands. You don't need to be eating hamburgers and hot dogs. What was the favorite, what was one of the most highlights of your career in the, in the music business? You're never going to believe this. You know who Dolly He Potter probably is. won't believe it. I believe it. I already believe it. By, by the way, I'm not riding home with you. Good. And also, by the way, how do you get your hair to stick up like that? You must use hairspray. I don't use hairspray, <laughs> but thanks for caring. How do you get it to stick up like that? I'm filled with rage. <laughs> I told you, I told you, I told you. Didn't I tell you? He said, a, he's a toxic cesspool of rage. I'm starting to like this, I'm <laughs> starting to like this guy it. after all. I'm starting to like this guy. The way he go, he's going to be hanging from a rope soon. <laughs> I have family from Alabama. I'm going back to it. We don't. We don't need them. Are you, I'm where, just where are you that's, originally that's from? Not, that's not okay. Oh, I'm from Miami. Can I call you a kitten? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> Why not? You call me seventeen. He's going I'm, for you, it. Man. You, you call me. So you can call me whatever you want. What state are you originally from? I'm only oh, Florida. Fucking Florida. Florida. What part of Florida? It's a Miami. Big... Miami. Yeah. Oh my half god. Half Colombian, half Hick. Did you ever? Have, did you ever? Did you ever tie somebody to the to the? Uh, to the to the uh I'm like curtain. is this a fantasy Yard or is this arm? something that happens in Miami Did you ever tie somebody to a curtain uh, rod in the bathtub and Sli- take a take a chainsaw and cut Slice him in half him? No because the drug deal went south No but but I know all <laughs> about the- I know all about them. First I thought he was going to start talking about like just curtains or like fucking whatever and no, no. Say, you know, you know. No, the Colombians, the Colombians and Cubans. In yeah, well, Have you that's seen what I'm, I'm ha- Yeah, of course. I'm half Colombian. That was a. You oh I yeah that's yeah I'm Colombiana <laughs> Barranquilla baby. We didn't even get into this. Yeah, so no, you're a, we you're haven't Colombian. gotten into this. Colombian I'm and Col- what? 
Full Cause breed? I'm half hick, half spick. Am I allowed to say that on air? Everybody uh, laughs. I don't know. You're wrong. I, I, hey, I'm you offended. are if you are. You I know? am. That's you can what I'm walk saying. it back. You can walk it back. No, it's fine. I get laughs every time. But uh, as a white liberal, I'm very offended that uh, a Hispanic hick? person hick? would call themselves. Oh yeah, exactly. Talk, at least <laughs> no, but but do me a me. favor. Don't ever interrupt her when she's talking about. She could be talking about nothing. I don't. I would rather hear her say nothing than hear you say something. Uh, so you're. Uh, this is very interesting. Uh, you're <laughs> Colombian. It's not that interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Colombian. And, and half Spanish? Ha- half s- white, Don't. just American. Oh. Yeah, like... Uh, jo- so half Caucasian? Half Caucasian. Is and your mom Colombian. was what? Colombian. She is Colombian. And your father is... Uh, was, uh, what, Col- he was white. He passed away, but it's always weird saying I'm sorry. was. I'm it's sorry. okay, but... You're pretty young to have a father pass away. I'm sorry. Was he sick? Am I, I'm in my 30s. Oh come on! Give me a break. You're barely um, legal. No, yeah, it was a head. It was a head <laughs> annual. Barely. Whatever your fantasy is, dude. <laughs> yeah. no, barely. Did, did that happen at he work? Or did, he, did, he, did he perish in the house? Did it, it happen was in, at work? It was, a, it was in the house. And oh, we I'm just sorry. made it so serious. It's fine. No, it's okay. Mm. But I just, I always think it's weird saying was because whether he's how dead or not, ago he's still, did, he's still did you white. Lose him? Uh, it was t- how old? Uh, Twenty years ago. Wow. And you have. <laughs> do you have brothers? What are you, Morgan Oprah? I, I, don't, I don't even want to hear no, anything yeah. out of you. I want to act serious. like a statue. Doctor. Make Doctor believe this stuff. is an acting class. You're a statue. <laughs> what did, uh, what did, uh, you got brothers and sisters? I have, I have two older brothers that are eight and ten years older than me, hence the, like, the tomboy. And you're Colombian. With nice hair, I guess. Colombian is some of the, yeah. as, you, as you can see for yourselves. Well, I have the white, uh, you can see the white jeans. I have a lot of the white jeans, and the green eyes, the fair skin, but I'm voluptuous. Your eyebrows are perfect. <laughs> you are Colombian. This they all make get sense weird. to me now. It's going to get weird, you guys. No, no, no. Just take the compliments. No, they pull Would the you like to swear yeah. in? Oh I, yeah, you didn't swear. You in. did not swear in, sir. See, see, this is this. It's this, true. This is this is, this is <laughs> what he was like on the way up here. Can you, you know, this, you know, you it's tried difficult. to get in, you tried to get into the podcast, and it's not working right now. You were told you were a statue, <laughs> and I'm the podcast host. I don't need to swear myself in. See what I mean? This is what I got to deal with sometimes. It's hard. You don't know what kind of guests you're gonna get. It's hard. You know, yeah. you just don't know, <laughs> and that's the rub. That's but the you, rub. But you know him, so you know what kind of guy <laughs> I know. I, it's so my I, own It's fault. on you, pretty much. Yeah. You, know? you know, I'm talking to her about her eyes and her eyebrows and Columbia and all this, and you want to say, well, you didn't swear in. You didn't swear in. I wish there was a corner I could put you in, <laughs> and you could face the corner, like in uh, elementary school, when they tell you to face the corner. Did they ever tell you? They must oh, have told you to. You probably spent your whole school in the corner. <laughs> You must have loved with the blocks, too. You like moving blocks when you were in the first grade with the blocks? You must have went nuts with the blocks. I didn't play with blocks. I played with logs. I played with those tiny little logs. I loved the logs. I loved the Matchbox cars. I liked uh, Winnie and Pooh. Right, I'm going to ask you guys to just just don't even speak. I want to speak to uh, Carla. So uh, you got two older brothers. Mm-hmm. Where do they live? Uh, Miami and Austin. One's a nurse in Miami, and the other works at Dell in Austin. Product placement, Dell. Free stuff. Right. A lot of big businesses are moving there. Mm-hmm. And uh, where does your mom reside? Miami still. Has she moved on in a relationship? No. And I, I, I talked to her about this, and it's actually, it's cute. She's like, I just, I can't see my, he was the first one I married and basically dated, and I can't see myself with anyone else, which is sad to me, but cute for her. Say that again. Your mom hasn't she, moved on. No, she hasn't moved she's on. Not she's not dating. Been single. She. I bet she's, she's a beautiful woman, isn't she? She's beautiful. She's also, she's so sweet. She's very prude. Like I can't even talk. I'm like, do you have a vibrator? Do you have anything? And she's like, <laughs> Carla Michelle, don't talk to me. But like she's just, she just won't. She doesn't go there. And I'm like the complete like my brothers and I are the complete my opposite. We're like, mom. you need to get it off, mom. <laughs> just before Shit, that. I got I, I got vibrators. Yeah. <laughs> where, wait, where, just, do you, where, uh, do you, where do you put them? Just uh, I got them because my statue. Uh, Charlie, maybe we could think about cutting those mics <laughs> if they're not going to cooperate. I'm talking over here right now. Mia, have you been to Columbia? I have. It's. Oh, uh, have yeah, you seen the bathing suits there? I make bathing suits. I, I, I didn't mention that because it's no, not you for can this, mention anything. but I, I designed, No, no, anything that you want to talk about. I I'd rather bikinis. hear you talk about anything except just to, just to weed, <laughs> weed, weed it off. This, 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 the botry. What's that, up with your glasses, dude? Are you too. trying to look at your... Uh, oh, look at that <laughs> stare he just gave. He took them off real quick. You should have left him there. 
Look, hey, if you gotta go, if you're farting, that means you didn't use the bathroom. Not me. Oh, what are you? What are you? Two years old? <laughs> use the bathroom. Why would you fart with a beautiful girl? And you drove, didn't you? You drove a Colombian knockout, a 10.10, and you two were shitting out of your ass. Wouldn't you use the bathroom before you got in the car with this beauty queen? You animals! You no go dragon! You weren't even idiots! You weren't even into her until you found out she's Colombian. It's true. That is true. You weren't even. She's like That's she's true. like a normal girl. You barely even talk to her. That's true. And then she says, "I'm Colombian." And Maybe you're I like, was a little bit like, intimidated by. You want to give her fortune hey. teller? Maybe I was intimidated by her beauty. Oh, so Does she work on your. You should work on. Can your, I can so I call you bitch? If you would have spent as much time. <laughs> you can call me bitch. No way. <laughs> Man. Oh, he's crying. You have him crying. This I'm poor laughing. guy. Give I'm him laughing. some attention. We don't need him crying. I'm laughing. Yeah, I've, I've got a whole new outlook about this whole podcast. It's so good. you make bikinis as well? They're, I, yeah, I don't make Thongs? them. Thongs? They are very tanga. The whole butt cheek yeah, hangs the whole, out? the whole butt. And the string we'll, just We'll goes give up you that Instagram. Mellow Bello Swim, if you want to see some cheeks. Yeah, you can, you, uh, when, we, when, when it comes up time to uh, plug... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're not stuff. pre-plugging. Do you uh, model the bathing suit as well? I, I, to relax, okay. dude. Am yeah, I that, is this allowed to relax. be seen on air? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. fine. That's you know, that's kind of a risque question. I, uh, I was asking for you. <laughs> uh, that's different. Love all this attention. <laughs> You're both a couple of pigs and fucking trip, animals. Trip, I, trip, tell us about what you think your opinion is of this planet. Well, I'm not impressed. <laughs> You know, I mean, if I was uh, going to book a trip somewhere, I don't think it would be here. Mm. I really don't. You know, I mean, it's a shitty planet. You know, uh, you're born. And th what's the, f the first thing you do is you shit all over yourself. He had to. Oh, speak for yourself, dude. <laughs> well. <laughs> well, he came from the same car. Yeah. Came from the same car. <laughs> and then somebody slaps you on the ass. Mm. And then you start screaming and they tell you to stop. And then you uh, you get taken home, and then you you get uh, you, you get uh, breastfed, and then when you're getting used to that, they take it away from you, and you don't see another one for about 14 years, and then and then and then then you know they they try to they they they, they teach you a language and they try to teach you uh, how to think and they, go, they you go to school and you get beat up in school and the teachers yell at you and they tell you you're not that smart you're not that special he seems clever in class mrs trip and yet and then you got to go uh, you, 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 you go to you go they they, they send you into the cub scouts or some other club, you you know, some other uh, fucking uh, cult where they try to, you know, they try to get you to do the things they want you to do. I don't want to do those things, Brian. I don't want to do them. And then, and then they, 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 they give you a religion. They tell you about a God. Oh, he's, God loves you, but sometimes he hates you. Don't piss him off. <laughs> Just do what he tells you to do, and he'll love you. And then... <laughs> And then, then the same thing happens. You get married. And it's the same thing. Do what she does and she'll love you. Do, do what she says. And then, and, but if you don't get married, you know, if you, if, you, if you do get married, you have kids, you buy a house, you get in debt. Lots of debt. And then you're just uh, working for the bank. You work for the bank for your, the rest of your life. And then you, 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 you get old and you, you start to hurt. Things start to break down in your eyes. You go blind. You go, you, you're senile. And then, you know, you, 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 you think it's a, it's a big trip. And, and then, you know, what, what's, the, what's the last thing you do before you, you die? You fart on the car right here. <laughs> you shit all over yourself. You die and you shit all over yourself. And that's the whole, I mean, that's basically... If you just if you just realize that this world was full of shit, I mean that's what the, it's trying to tell you that as you come into this world, you know it's just you know if you had it if you went to a travel agent, and you said yeah I want to go to a place where um, in order to survive I have to kill something else, <laughs> you know I'd like to go <clears throat> I'd like to go to a planet where there are mosquitoes. <laughs> Is there a planet with mosquitoes? Because, please, send me there. I just don't think that this is where I would end up if I had anything to do with it. I really feel that I was sent here by someone like Brian, who's not very, he's not crazy about me. 
He's antagonistic. But I don't feel like I would send, I don't think I'd come here myself. Because the people who are in charge of this place, they're all fucking assholes. What about the currency? You had some pretty good observations. Well, no, about I mean the money. currency. Well, money is money. You know, it's like because they, they tell us what it is. Yeah, they, they tell us it's worth five dollars. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing. It's uh, reality is all only what you, dis- you 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 collectively agree is reality. Mm. What we collectively agree is reality isn't reality. It's the you know it's whoever's in charge. It's their reality. They give you so so you know like uh, the King of England uh, Henry the Eighth uh, wanted to get divorced, but uh, the Catholic Church says he doesn't. Oh well, okay, so we'll just change reality. We'll, we'll have the Church of England. Yeah, we'll, we'll start our own religion. We'll start our own church. I couldn't believe it I, when I found that out. The Catholic Church said we we're not going to sanction this divorce. Divorce is a no no. He said fine. He started another, and they, to this day, there's another, there's a fake church called, what is it? The, it's the Church of England. The Church of England. It's a fake church that this guy made just because the real church wouldn't give him a divorce. It's unbelievable. He's, 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 got, he's making some points. Well, no, no. I mean, Aren't you hot in that blouse? <laughs> Go ahead. No, reality is, 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 is what we say it is. Collectively, uh, we, we have a collective reality. But that's not real. You know, we have natural law and we have man-made law. So man-made law is not reality. But people would would like you to believe that man-made law is natural law. And what we're going to have to do is, after the podcast, we're going to have to keep him here until they come for him. <laughs> I mean, what? I guess everybody's got the same question on their, their mind as I do. What keeps you... From taking your own life, given this, this this information. Why haven't you already hung yourself in a bathroom stall? Well, perhaps drunk. Because I just I live to antagonize you, Mr. Holzer. <laughs> <laughs> I just I don't what do you think do about it? that, Ronnie. I don't well, I mean, I'm thinking about hanging him myself. <laughs> no, no, but uh, it's not easy to get rope because you gotta wait. You gotta wait for a long time. Well, no, this is, maybe this is a transfer. <laughs> you know, maybe I can uh, get a transfer to another planet from here. Mm. But this wouldn't be your first choice. Not my first choice, no. I, I, I'm going to c- get another travel agent for my next trip. See, what he's, what's Trip saying, and I'll paraphrase, is you're born, and the first thing they do is they smack your ass and you shit on yourself. <laughs> then you grow up and you're bullied in school and told you're not smart or you're smart and being lied to by helicopter parents, and then you go to some jerkwater college where they give you some kind of initiation into the uh, group and, and, and damage your eardrum because they were smacking. That happened oh to a God, cousin of mine. Right. They used to do that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Let's try to b- damage the students' eardrums oh because God. we do this against their ears. Everybody knows that if you hit your ears with enough force, it It'll damage, and this is what they do in these jerk water colleges. Who in their right mind wants to be part of a fraternity that could cause death and uh, toxic alcohol poisoning or damage? But this is what's going on. Then after that, you get uh, to work in a cubicle or a company for 30 years, and then uh, – uh, and you're in debt while you're doing it, and then you retire, and then you start to get ill. And sometimes you just don't die naturally. <laughs> You suffer. It drags that, out. It drags, drags out. on. Like this podcast. I had an uncle who was, uh, he had a, a condition where he couldn't uh, hold his saliva. His saliva uh, glands were overproducing. He had like a double or triple the saliva glands of most people. I, if you open your mouth just a little bit. Uh, uh, anyway. <laughs> that had nothing to do with the story. <laughs> Items of interest. Uh, he had such a saliva, over, overproduction of saliva, that we actually had to put his chair in a little transmission drip pan just to catch all the fluid that was coming out of his... And so it's, it, it, that's what I'm saying. At that point, just kill me if, I, if, if I'm not functioning. Well, that's not that. That honestly doesn't sound that bad, but if you're to the point where... Someone has to take care of you. Well, not bad to you. you. How would you like a drip pan full of your, uh, your uncle's uh, saliva? In there's the got to be something now, though, that can absorb. Like, there's gotta got to be some sort too. of. You got any cavities? Do you ever have any cavities? I think I have one in front of my root canal. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I think I have one canal. back here. Mm. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. Yeah. <clears throat> Gum disease runs in my family. Some people, you see them, they have the heads that, you, that look like they should be on another body. But your whole body works. 
You it, can't see my body. Your I head looks like you know what I, I haven't mean. taken my sweater <laughs> off yet. Yeah. Your head looks like it should be on another head. Uh, uh, you guys just better plug your butts when they're going oh home. I don't want to relax. <laughs> Fetch out. What do they call it? Fagulate so yeah, yeah. in the car. Flagellate. Flagellate. All right. <laughs> what do you got? Uh, you want to plug anything? Let's plug the book. Let's now. plug the book. Uh, the book is called The Hierophant, and you can uh, get it on Amazon.com or uh, other online uh, uh, sites. Spell Other it. online. H i i e r o p h a n t uh, by James Tripp. It might be easier to just look up James Tripp, uh, the higher font. Let me have it. You had to novel. look at how you spell your own book. You forgot how you spell your hey, book title. You know, I wrote the book. I put it down. It's none of my business. Watch how you speak to her. She's <laughs> Colombian. Especially the tone. Oh, yeah. It does come out sometimes. Uh, the book is called The uh, Higher Font. Higher Font. That's uh, Henry, Ida, Eric, Robert, Ocean, Paul, House, Aunt, Nora, Tom. I can tell you were in the military. I don't. Were those the right... I, Empire. Empire. This is the back. It is another time. There are wars and revolutions. Ancient dynasties fear their... Where are my glasses? Uh, Fear their end. Simple creatures walk the land led by an empire of mock power or authority, political ideology, or some... That's a big word for me. Can you get that one for me? Uh, Dichotomous. Dichotomous, that's... Uh, Morality. Dave, Iris, Chocolate, Henry, Ocean, Tom, O, Ocean, Mary, Ocean... Boy, Union, this is kind uh, of interesting. I just what want to make doing? sure... I, I'm spelling it phonetically for my Why listeners. Yeah, exactly. You said it was just a fucking ear of I want to make sure. Wanna, <laughs> you look like that character in Office Space. I want to. Oh I, I want to make sure my listeners will be able to 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 understand what's going on. So you it 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 it, 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 it you spell it phonetically. You know about this. Yeah. Uh, my mom's a travel agent. I know, but that's why I was asking. Oh, your is mom's it, a travel is it, agent. Isn't A Alpha? Shouldn't a, I guess you can make up whatever. What's you your want. mom's first name? Cristina. May- Cristina Margarita. Maybe she oh, could book my man. next life. How come she doesn't want to find an... An- she said if it she's happens... Still hurt. Oh. No, if it happens, like, she's not looking for it. But if someone, someone happened to Does be there... Does she live in a home? A house? Yeah, she gets out sometimes. She's not always at home. We'll, we'll talk about it. Uh, <laughs> we'll get you a or some... Uh, Dichotomous morality. Morality. They give control of their lives away too easily to an outside force by reforging manacles. Manacles which were (laughs) self-imposed, giving rise to an unnatural order in its place. And this is a novel, is it? It's a novel. I like novels. I uh, I like to read. People... I'll give you this piece of advice, and I think you'll agree with me, Carla. People say, oh, I don't like to read. I don't like to read. Those are people that just haven't found a great book. Once they find a great book, they will become readers. Because there's nothing like a book compared to a movie or cartoons. Disagree. I, no, I agree with that. What? I totally disagree with you. <laughs> <laughs> what Books the? are stupid. Books take time. It takes forever to read them. It takes forever to read You're stupid. You're stupid. No, you're, an, you're, you're an asshole. <laughs> you're stupid. You, this show is preposterous. <laughs> and you're wearing your glasses like that. It makes you look like a complete idiot. <laughs> you want I mean, the, look at the name and title of the book. It's like, how do you even know what that is? <laughs> Arafan? Like, who the... Do you, wanna, do you want to plug anything? Do you want to plug anything else, uh, James? I want to plug him. <laughs> Do you want to plug anything else besides the book? No, uh, that's about it. Will you come back? I will come back. <laughs> You're not coming back. <laughs> asshole. You are not coming you back. Asshole. You might not even leave the building. <laughs> Boy, you set me up for that. <laughs> Ronnie, do you want to give us a closing, uh, something that you think is important for us to hear? Well, I mean, I think it's uh, it's important to, uh, you know, take notice of people, you know, and uh, give protocol to certain events. Like, you know, if you're walking down the street and you try to move them down the street and you just... (laughs) You got to be real careful with all sorts of stuff, you know. But I'll tell you my moral of the story. Is this fucking guy is a real piece of shit. And, uh, you know, if you're going to ride on the way home, you're going to be on top of the roof. So you can you can check me out. My manager is the Jeff Richards. 
at, at uh, the Jeff Richards Instagram. The Jeff Richards. I will only get in the car with you if you hang your ass out the window. <laughs> We're getting you both no, deep hands. I don't know what you guys are talking about. But... Are you? Are you? Uh, well, He's you... got woman hands too. Look at it. <laughs> they are beautiful. They're, They're beautiful. beautiful. Like I think oh, I've seen these on a Ralph's. Oh. Grocery store holding the fucking mangoes. Yeah. Uh, uh, will you come back? Uh, no, I won't. <laughs> yeah, it's like I should have left a half hour ago. Wow. You tried to set him up. You tried to do that twice. You didn't you tried have any to do snacks or anything like that. <laughs> he did say you were gonna have snacks. Last time I got, I got to pay for this. I'm, I, I'm financing this. I have no sponsors. I have to oh, cut corners. No, we need to get you some spot. We need to get you at least one sponsor. Wow. Uh, thank you, this Ronnie. So I hope that you come back and uh, it. call up. Would you like to give us your plugs? And, I, uh, um, well, what kind that, of plugs are we talking about uh, here, Brian? Only the ones that make us noise. <laughs> only the ones that need lubrication. How's that, Carla? That's, you the, that's the kind of plug I'm you're, talking about. Should I be open to this camera? or this? Because I was open to this. Well, it really time. doesn't matter. This is dead air. Well, <laughs> no, anyone you want. I'm sure they'll uh, uh, the Car- Carla with a K Watkins on all socials and... Uh, Killa Carla on Twitch. That's K I L L A Carla with a K. It just Killa Carla though. We're not gonna add the with a K because that would be childish. Can, can, can you repeat it again? Car- <laughs> <laughs> Car- 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 Carla Watkins. No, I really want them Kill- to get it. Oh, oh. So Carla Watkins. K A R L A W A T K I N S. And on Twitch, it's twitch.tv slash Killa Carla, K-I-L-L-A-K-A-R-L-A. I want to thank you. I really want to thank you from the, from the bottom of my loins at this point. I want to thank you for coming on uh, Dead Air L.A. And um, I think I, my, my compadres to the right will agree with me. A lot of beautiful, beautiful women like yourself do not have the personality or the brains to carry themselves successfully in social situations. And what I'm saying is, even though you're extremely attractive, you don't have an air of arrogance. Thank you. It wasn't a compliment. I just like fuck? being told I have brands. Skip all the beauty shit. Tell me Dude, I'm funny and I'm smart is, all day. All I know is like, oh, items of interest. One more items of interest. Where are you from? Okay, Miami. Item of interest. I'm I, Colombian. <laughs> Colombian. Colombian. Yeah, Colombian. <laughs> Colombian. You know, I. I Colombian. Only, what was it? Was it, it, it was, was the door around. opener for me. I, uh, I, um, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> Maybe we'll get to some items of interest as we as we clean up this podcast. Uh, Swedish authorities have refused to let a couple name their newborn son Vilmar Putin. The new the new parents submitted the name to Sweden's tax agency, which can reject names if they are offensive or could cause discomfort for the bearer. Previously rejected names include Allah, Michael Jackson, P- Pinelisner, Q, and Token. The name Google passed muster, however, and one couple successfully appealed a ruling against naming their daughter Metallica. You can call me anything you want. (laughs) (laughs) Jeez. Jeez. You know what? I work for Metallica, too. I was just going to say. You know what I'll do for you? I will call Ubers for both these, 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 That's these, sweet. these that fought is. I don't like you. you know, I don't like sweet. Uber, dude. I don't do Uber. Both of them will be sent home in separate or the same Uber. <laughs> Yeah.